east of Israel is a land where Jesus walked, taught, and performed miracles. Jordan is home to some of the oldest Christian communities on the planet. The ruins of Byzantine-era churches and monasteries dot the country north to south. Jordanian Christians are about 6% of the population, but Christian refugees from Iraq and Syria, expelled by ISIS, have been welcomed here by tens of thousands. Some now say the last haven for Christians in the Middle East is Jordan, the land where Jesus was baptized. This site, ladies and gentlemen, is very important for Jews as a religion. Christians and Muslims believe it or not. Why? Because all the prophets who, made, who were here, we talked about, are mentioned in the Quran. So 10 to 15 percent of our visitors are Muslims. And my best tour with a group of people is when I have the three together, Jews, Christians, and Muslims. And I see all three cry. That's the highlight of my day, and it gives me like energy for a year to go. So, in Islamic period, when Islam got here, Christians continued. And many churches built in the area were built actually physically in Islamic period. Christian leaders in Jordan say the biblical sites are important, but that what is really vital are the living stones. At St. George Parish in Fuhais, northwest of Amman, liturgy runs according to the Melkite rite, which predominates in Catholicism here. The language at St. George and Fuhais is Arabic. Icons, incense, and bells are frequent. At St. Peter and Paul Old Cathedral in Amman, Melkite Catholics gather for Sunday Mass on what for Muslims is the first day of the work week. Some sources say tensions between moderate and radical Islamic elements in Jordan are on the increase. Christian leaders say the Crusaders of the medieval period have left indelible problems in relations with Muslims. U.S. military involvement in the Middle East is seen as a new crusade. Still, Christian schools across Jordan are held in high regard. The Orthodox Christian school in Madaba, for example, educates 6,000 students, teaching the Quran to Muslims and the Bible to Christians. St. John the Baptist, who lived and ministered in Jordan and was beheaded in a palace overlooking the Dead Sea, is the patron saint of Jordan. Reporting from Amman, this is Ed Longwa of the Catholic Sentinel.